Well, here we are, winding down the summer season. A lot of people looking at a lot of tomatoes if they have, grew them in their garden. I know I've got tons. The question is, what to do with them? After you've done the caprese and the panzanella salad and everything else, what do you do with the tomatoes? And you've got an option for whether you have the fresh tomatoes or canned tomatoes. Absolutely, absolutely. So I love tomato soup, but I think sometimes it really just tastes like marinara dressed yeah. up a little bit. Yes. So what we're doing is we're going to make a richer base, and that's really the key to making a good soup. So we start off by sauteing off some shallots, we've got some carrots, and then fennel is going to be my secret agent here. Mm. Um, also known as sweet anise, so it's got a little sweet, slightly licorice flavor to it. It's not going to show up as licorice, it's going to be more of the sweet base. Yes. Right? Surprisingly sweet. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So then this we're cooking in some chicken stock. This is really the important base to this whole recipe because this is where we're developing flavor. Yeah. Okay? If I can't smell what's going on in here, then it's gonna be a really lackluster soup. Once this goes, then I'll add in my tomatoes. So you could use roasted tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. Once tomato season's over, I really recommend the canned organic tomatoes. Yeah. Because the tomatoes aren't gonna have any flavor. So you're not doing any justice. So we'll take the tomatoes, put them in, cook this up. Now you can see it already looks really, I mean, we could leave it chunky like this yes. if we want. But I think that's going to be harder for the kids to eat at school. So we're going to emulsify it, and then that's going to be the body of the soup. That's what's going to thicken it. If we wanted to have a little heavy cream at the end, that's when we could do it. It'd give us that sort of luxurious feel to the soup. Velvety, yeah. But if you want to keep it healthy, keep it out, because then we can do croutons. Right on top, which gives yes. that nice crunch, too. Yeah. Put it on the side of the kids' lunches, and that way they can add it themselves, sure. make them feel like they're a part of it as well. Mm -hmm. Real quickly, back to the tomatoes. Let's say you do have them fresh. Is there anything you need to do with them before you use them in the soup? Do you need to roast them, bake them you off? Know, you could do either one. You could roast them, you could dry them in the sun if you'd like, but you can use them straight up fresh and just okay. chop them up. Okay. Um, the heartier the tomato, the more flavorful the soup is going to be. The inside of your tomato is just really watery. You might want to leave some of that out and keep more of just the flesh of the tomato. All right, if you want this recipe, you can find it on our Facebook page and our website as well. Laura, thank you for that one. Happy to be here. All right, well, our air quality here in the Reno Sparks area has now deteriorated. We're in the unhealthy for sensitive groups category and well into that category at that with a count of 126. We're going to talk about the air quality in some other spots, plus what you could expect on your seven-day forecast coming up. Why didn't I go? Mic check, check, one, two. Okay, good? Nope. Got it? Good. No, good, don't got it. No, mic just falls in the market. That's fine. I'd rather have that than a spotlight shining in my face. <laughs>